So for this question, we're asked to determine the second moment of area about the y-axis. So looking at this, it's not a simple shape that we can just read off a, a, um, off a table. Um, unfortunately, we're going to have to use the integral definition in order to work out our second moment of area. So the equation that we need to apply to get about the y-axis is that we need to take the integral with respect to the area of x squared. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is now draw my integration element because I'm going to need to replace dA in my equation um, with the use of it. So I think it's always easiest to draw my integration element so that it, it joins with an axis. So in this case, I can get it to join directly down to the x-axis. So because I've essentially taken a little slit along the x-axis, it means that I can call this distance in here the width of my slit dx. Okay, and of course the integral means that we're looking at the case when dx goes to zero. So this is going to occur at some value of x for this little integration element and a corresponding value of y. So if I want to work out the area of my little element, it's just going to be the area um, of the rectangle. So it's going to have a length in here of y, whatever that may be and it's got a width in here of dx. So this is what goes in up here. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so it's now got substituted out, and we've changed what we're integrating with respect to. So that means we also need to change the bounds on the integration symbol. So it's now x, so that means we're going to integrate between a value of x1 and x2, which I'll get to in a second. So if I'm going to be able to integrate this, I need to make sure everything in the equation is in terms of x. And unfortunately, at the moment, we have a y in the equation. And we're going to need to change it into some function of x. But we can do that based on the fact that we know the um, equation of this line here is 4 minus x squared. So let's go ahead and put this in over here. So now we've got everything in terms of x, it's going to be um, integratable. The easiest way to do it though is going to be if I expand out this bracket. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier to integrate. So it's going to become 4x squared minus x to the power of 4. And applying my integration rules, my constant of 4 stays out the front. I add 1 to the power, so it becomes x to the power of 3 and I'll divide by the new power. Doing the same thing for this one, I add 1 to the power, and then divide by that new power. And it's a definite integral, so I need to transfer my um, integration bounds. Now, in this case, we're interested in, for the x-axis, looking at between this point and this point. So these become my bounds. So the smaller one becomes x1, and the bigger one over here becomes x2. Okay, and we can put numbers around it. So with respect to um, my origin in here, this is going to be at negative 2. This one is going to be at positive 2. So let's go ahead and put that in and substitute in these bounds. Okay, so now I just need to type all of this in a calculator. And what you should end up is 8.53. And the units are going to be whatever the distance units are to the power of 4. So we did this whole question using meters for the unit. So the answer here is going to be meters to the power of 4. So that's all there is um, in order to find the second moment of area about the y-axis for this shape. See you in another video.